In this video, I'll show you how to export and import resident data in the DoorKing software. This is the example account that comes with DoorKing. This is version 6.3e. What we will cover today work in all versions of DoorKing up to the current version 6.3f. In the example account, have three residents and one vendor in the software. Now I'm first going to export this account. This will provide the header names we will use for importing. Go back to Accounts and click File and then Export. Select the account or accounts you wish to export. Now you can place the file anywhere on your computer by clicking the Browse button. I'm going to place it in the desktop. Now click OK. The status window tells us that the export was successful. And I'm going to go to the desktop now. This is the file that DoorKing has created. It's a CSV file. Microsoft Excel will open this file. If you don't have Excel, there is a free Office suite made by Oracle at openoffice.org. Google Docs will also work. In the top row is the header name. Now each corresponds to the database column in the DoorKing software. Now that we have an exported file, I like to copy this row for a guide in the new file. Here's a list of residents I created. And I'm now going to paste the header row at the top. And now we can sort the columns into the right header locations. I'm going to drag the remotes over to device number. I'm going to the addresses under notes. The phone numbers are going under, you guessed it, phone. And area code under AAC. And the names under resident. The account name must match the account name in DoorKing. Capitalization matters. Dorking does not use XLS or XLSX file, so we need to save this file as a CSV file. I'm going to save the file on the desktop. The CSV MS-DOS option is just off the screen. You'll get a couple of windows informing us that this is not a standard format. Click OK, and then Yes. Here's the file that was created. Now back in Dorking, click File and Import, then Import Now. Locate the file that was created. The file format should always be set to CSV format. Mainframe format is a custom option for universities and schools. The import type has two options, Update and Initialize. Update will merge the data and Initialize will clear the existing data in the account and import all the data in the CSV file. Account selection has two options, single account and multiple accounts. One CSV file can have multiple accounts as long as the account column is named correctly. Now we're going to update one account. Click OK. The status window says one account successful, zero errors, and one warning. To view the warning, click File, then View Log Files, and View Events Log. The warning is telling us that the existing names were not in the new imported file. That's OK. We were merging the information. Now, let's look under Resident Database. Here's the merged data. Now, you may have noticed that the Excel file was set up to import into DoorKing rather easily. However, this may not be how you get your data out of an existing system or an accounting program. In the next video, I'll focus on how to manipulate the data in Excel, merge first and last names, separate area codes from phone numbers, and changing first names to an initial. Thanks for watching.